Hello and welcome to another edition of Conspirator Brock's Pull List. This is my pull list for the week of April 19th, 2017. So let's go right into it. First up we have All-Star Batman number 9, uh, Ends of the Earth. Um, Scott Snyder's been doing a really, really amazing job on All-Star Batman, uh, despite the first arc having John Romita Jr. art. Uh, Jacques' art is amazing. Um, so yeah, you should definitely, definitely pick that up. On a side note, um, I didn't grab it this week, but I'll probably eventually get it. All-Star Batman, uh, Volume 1, My Own Worst Enemy, uh, the hardcover is out this week. So, uh, yeah, if you see that and you want it, pick it up. Next up we have Aquaman number 21, H2.0. Um, we're continuing the Dark Water stuff, um, figuring out where Doc, or who Dark Water is. Um, I've been really enjoying Aquaman. Uh, overall, it's been a really, really solid title. Uh, next up is a book that everybody is excited for, and uh, yeah, I am too. And that is Batman 21. We start the button crossover, so I'm going to actually take this out. So you can actually see it now. It's a wonderful lenticular glory. Uh, so yeah, so it is a turning cover. Awesome, awesome stuff. Um, so yeah, the lenticular cover is three ninety nine. Uh, all the subsequent covers are two ninety nine. Uh, there's four total covers for um, Batman twenty one. Uh, I'll get into some of those in when I get to my variants. But so excited for the button. Uh, I just need to finish I Am Bane. I haven't read issue 20. Uh, next up, we have Batwoman number two. Uh, enjoyed the rebirth issue and the number one, so I'm going to keep going with Batwoman. Uh, next up, we have Dustin Nguyen, or Jeff Lemire and Dustin Nguyen's Descender, number 21. Uh, Descender's been a really, really fun, good book, and I enjoy it every time. Next up is Generation Zero, number nine. Uh, overall, I would just say this book is okay. Um, it's not something that you have to rush out and grab. Um, it's it's not nothing noteworthy. But if you're looking for something interesting and different, I would say pick up Generation Zero. Uh, next up, we have Green Arrow 21, The Rise of Star City. Um, we just finished uh, the Roy Harper, Return of Roy Harper stuff, so now we have the Rise of Star City. Um, I've been really enjoying uh, Green Arrow, so, for, so uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Next up, we have Green Lanterns, number 21. Uh, polarity continues in this story arc. Um, the lanterns are facing out, uh, are up, up against Polarity. Uh, meanwhile, um, some of the, uh, like, uh, Guy Gardner, John Stewart, and a couple of the Lanterns, um, are basically saying, we need to go have a chat with, uh, Jessica and, uh, Baz over the fact that there's this rogue guardian on Earth. Um, so yeah. <laughs> Next up is Harley Quinn, number 18. Uh, Red Meat continues in this, and I do believe the, uh, backup issues by Deanie, here he is right there, Deanie, uh, are also in this, uh, so head down to your local shop and pick this up. I know we sold out of the regular cover of the last issue, um, so, yeah, really, the Deanie stuff is, 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 I haven't read the last issue, but, uh, Deanie and Harley, I mean, he, he's her creator. Next up, we have Justice League number 19, uh, Timeless. Uh, apparently, they are trapped between two world destroyers. So yeah, we'll see how the Justice League fares in that scenario. Next up we have Lucifer 17. Uh, overall, I've just been enjoying Lucifer, so I'm going to continue with it. Uh, next up is Ninjak number 26. Uh, the Seven Blades of Master Dark continues in this. Um, Ninjak has been a really solid Valiant title. Um, and yeah, I, put a, I would put it on one of my Valiant recommendation lists. Next up is issue four of six of the Odyssey of the Amazons. Um, it's not necessarily the most popular title miniseries out there right now, but I've been enjoying it for the most part, so I'm probably going to finish it up. Um, but if I'm done with it, when I'm done with it, I'm probably just going to hawk the full thing on eBay. Uh, next up is a new number one from Image, and that's Redneck. Um, interest, I saw the preview, um, so I decided to grab that one and see how it is. Next up, we have Jeff Lemire's Royal City. Issue 1 was amazing. I highly, highly recommend you track down a copy of Issue 1. Royal City is a good, good book. Sorry if I'm going fast. There's a lot of books this week. Uh, next up, we have Super Sons, number 3. Uh, uh, they're at the mercy of Kid Amazo. Apparently, there has to be a kid version for everything now with the Super Sons. It's fun. It, it's fun. 
Uh, next up we have Superman 21. This continues the Black Dawn story arc. Uh, I'm a little bit behind. I need to actually start Black Dawn, but uh, hopefully going out of Superman Reborn, uh, Superman action and action are good titles. I haven't actually been able to read the last action of the last Superman. So uh, Next up we have Superwoman number 9. Uh, this is an aftermath of Superman Reborn stuff. Um, so, uh, Steel re Resolve. So we'll see is the name of the story arc. So we'll see how how well it continues. Um, Superwoman has been one of the okay titles. It's um, it's either I've enjoyed it or it's been slow or it's just been eh. Uh, so it, it, it could end up on the chopping block and drop down my relist or just dropped it all. Who knows? Next up we have uh, Trinity number eight. Uh, this is the truth about Superman. Um, this is a Superman Reborn Aftermath story. Uh, hopefully this kind of ex starts to explain the guy in the green with the say, seeth, scythe, whatever you want to call it. We'll see. Um, and finally on my pull list is The Wild Storm number three. Uh, first two issues were pretty good, so I'm going to keep going with The Wild Storm. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, did get a stack of variants this week. Let me make sure I got them all to show you. So first up we have Aquaman 21. Um, it was okay. I wasn't necessarily the biggest fan of this cover, um, but uh, I decided to pick it up. Uh, there is a regular kind. Well, the lenticular cover is the main cover, but Batman 21 has a non-lenticular cover, um, which you can pick up for $2.99. Uh, I decided to pick it up because this is going to be my reader copy. Um, there is also a uh, Tim Sale variant, um, which I haven't really been a big fan of the Tim Sale stuff, um, but be on the lookout for that one if you're trying to get all the Batman the Button variants. Um, and then, of course, there's the international cover because they're due to um, uh, trademarks or something. They're not allowed to show the button. Um, so this is the cover for the international cover uh, for the Button Part 1, Issue 21 of Batman. So, yeah. Uh, if you pre-ordered through the Comics Conspiracy Store, you don't have to worry about that. When they all come in, you'll be able to snag yours up, or yours will be mailed out to you. Uh, next up we have uh, the variant cover for Batwoman number two. I liked it, so I grabbed that one. Uh, Green Lanterns had a variant cover for number 21. Uh, looks like Polaris is trying to smash them with a bunch of metal stuff. Uh, Frank Cho, of course, is bringing us the big bootied uh, Harley, uh, Thick Hips Harley, uh, which is perfectly fine. Um, kind of reminds me of Linsner artwork a little bit, but, uh, so that's the a variant for issue 18 of Harley. Uh, let's see. Oh, should get... Uh, Super Sons 3 had a nice variant cover by Dustin Nguyen right there. Awesome, awesome stuff. Uh, of course, Superman had its variant cover, which I snagged up right there. Uh, so yeah, good, good stuff. I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, and then of course, Wildstorm has the Jim Lee variant. It also has a second variant, um, but I didn't pick that one up. Uh, but Jim, there's a Jim Lee variant out there. So if you like Jim Lee, snag that one. I did get a special order this week and it is to add to my growing collection. And that is, I got the DC Bombshells Raven statue. So, yep. Looks like she's floating up there in the air. So I need to get on opening up this bad boy for you guys in an unboxing video. So uh, be on the lookout for that. Um, I know I'm backlogged and I still need to do my Harley Jim Lee one from last week. Uh, but they're here and I'm going to do them. I promise. I promise. Uh, so yeah. So that's it for what I brought home uh, for me. Uh, so we have the read list now. This is the stuff I read to stay current and caught up and all that wonderful stuff. So first we have Captain America or Steve Rogers, Captain America 16. Uh, this is Secret Empire opening salvo. Um, Nick Spencer's been doing a good, good job on um, Captain America, despite, like I've said before, a rough start. Um, but uh, I'm actually kind of curious to see how Secret uh, Empire um, unveils. Next up, we have a new number one, um, and that's a Nick Fury number one. Um, not sure how to take that one, but we shall see. Uh, next up, we have Royals number two. Yes, you probably already were like, didn't we already have one? Yes, it's double shipping, I think, with this title. Um, so, yeah, we'll see. Um, but, uh, yeah. Fingers crossed. 
Okay, and the big one. Oh, excuse me. Long day. Uh, the big one from Marvel is Secret Empire Zero hit stores today. Um, yeah, so um, I'm stoked because it's uh, uh, Nick Spencer um, is drawing. Um, yeah, I thought it was somebody else with the art, but oh well. Uh, yeah, Secret Empire Zero. Check it out. See if it's any good. Uh, Ryan actually read a preview copy of it, and he said it was it was pretty good. So uh, next up on the read list is Poe Dameron, number thirteen. Um, this looks pretty solid. Been enjoying it, seeing the adventures of Poe Dameron. So that's it for the read list. Um, last week a title did come out that we didn't have enough copies that I felt comfortable taking one to read, um, but we had some left over, so I snagged one for this week, and that's Grass Kings number two. Um, I did read issue one, uh, the second print of issue one. I really enjoyed issue one, so I'm looking forward to reading Grass Kings number two. So that is it for the pull list this week. Um, Remember to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you guys are picking up, what you're excited for, all that wonderful hoopla stuff. If you have any questions, go ahead and pop them down there. If I get a chance, I'll answer them. Last week, I really wasn't too good at getting um, back to you guys, but it was on spring break at work. So, um, yeah, I was running around with my Rugrats and my truck. Um, had a little issue that I had to fix. So uh, I got that taken care of, and fingers crossed, nothing, no check engine light goes on again. Um, yeah, um, you can normally listen to me on the Comic Conspiracy podcast that gets recorded on Tuesday nights, um, before I normally record my video, um, but we uh, didn't record this week due to Ryan, um, being ill, um, he left work early, which meant I had to close the store and get everything ready and set for tomorrow, um, so, yeah, uh, so we should be back next week, we may record this week, I don't know, we might have just taken take an off week, but uh, normally you can listen to us on the Comic Conspiracy Podcast, uh, you can find that at www.geekbox.net, uh, or on iTunes, um, there sh will be a link in the description below to the Geekbox, or the Comics, Cons the Comics Conspiracy Podcast on the Geekbox, so if you're curious, go ahead and click on that link. You can follow me on Twitter. My handle is at Brock Sager. You can also help support myself and my fellow conspirators out through Patreon at www.patreon.com slash comic conspiracy. For as little as a dollar a month, you get access to um, uh, Bryce Briefly's and the Roundups by Charlie uh, and Toby, uh, where they talk about um, random or more random TV that's not associated with comic books. Um, yeah, so um, it's an interesting... It's an interesting week. It's a very heavy week. Uh, I got a lot of books, so uh, your wallet might not like you this week, but uh, some good, good stuff this week. Definitely excited for the button. Um, so, yeah. Well, I gotta get this up, and I gotta walk the dog. So, I will see you next week.